Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed. Nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there it is. For in fact, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to the disciples, The days are coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. They will say to you, Look there, or look here. Do not go, do not set off in pursuit. For as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. Luke chapter 17, verses 20 through 24. This is an Altura electronic flash speed light, and it is not coming on when you turn on the power button. So um, we checked the batteries, and actually one of the batteries um, was not coming out properly, so I had to kind of you know bang it a little bit to get it to come out. I noticed something else fall out of there, out of the battery cavity when the battery finally came out, and that's what it was this little metal tab and on the back side of it there's corrosion and so I got to looking down inside there and if you'll notice it's kind of not focusing very well there there's three of those tabs that are there and one that is missing so that's where that piece came from and so now I'm going to try to figure out how to get this thing apart so that I can try to solder that tab back on there. So the first thing I notice is that there's four screws on the bottom, so we'll take those out. Okay. I've already loosened the other three. Taking up the bottom one, and that piece comes off like this. Okay, I... Let me rotate this like that. It exposes some more screws, so that explains why that other part didn't want to come apart. And it looks like well, this is a little bit off center because if you do it like that it doesn't quite expose the screws if you do it like that it does there we go comes right apart and that thing will finally come off of there not that we need that off necessarily but Look at the other side where our terminals are. So, it does not look like it's going to be that easy to get to that. So, looking at this a little more, this one right here is the one with the broken terminal. And it looks like this little piece here might pop off of there. Maybe it's just a little piece of tape. Yeah, just a little piece of tape. Comes off. Now that should allow me to slide this off of here. There we go. So I just stuck that little screwdriver in there. It comes off like that. So anyway, now we'll clean that up a little bit and try to solder that piece back on there. Okay, so I just uh, put a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of water in with this little tab and to neutralize the battery acid. It was still on there. So, still a little stuff on there. So, we'll take a screwdriver. Okay, that's looking good. Take a little 
sandpaper. Okay. Now I'm going to look at this other side. And it looks like there's some little bit of corrosion on the end of that. So I'm going to stick that down in my Okay. There's no more green stuff on that now. I'm going to get a, another piece of thinking copper, maybe, to bridge across there. And I'll solder the copper to both sides of it. And so that should make it stable, rather than relying on just the solder to hold the tab. So I just have a little piece of solid wire. Um, and I'm going to just flatten that out here. Okay, so it's pretty flat. And I'm gonna see if I can wrap this around a little bend in it without breaking it, kind of match that loop. Actually, maybe I'll go on the inside of there. That way I can still use the original contact. Okay, so you can see how I bent that um, piece of copper to fit just inside that. And then I've got another one over here that I put the same kind of bend in and I'm going to do that one on the top and so then I'll just be able to solder that piece to the top of those okay have that one piece on there. Now I'm going to do one on the other side. So flip this over. Okay, there are probably better fixtures out here to hold this thing. But, so I'm just going to trim the excess off the end here. Okay, now I'm put this with a little sandpaper. Okay. Now we'll test it. Okay, now you can see that I'm getting lights. I can change the intensity. So, looks like it's Good to go. All I need to do is uh, plug or put it all back together. Okay, so the first thing was I put the battery case back in there. Roll this thing around here. Okay, it was a little a little tricky getting that back together again, but there it is. So I'm going to put the screws in still. I'm going to start with these up here.
Okay, we're good to go.